In this episode of Open Framework Super Basics, we're doing loads and loads of coding and making loads and loads of color. And we're doing crazy stuff in Open Framework's Super Basics. It's a little stroboscopic. Welcome back. Last time we looked at uh, Open Frameworks and how we can set up our app windows and we can make colors. And we made an OF color object and then we used RGB or HSB, hue, saturation, and brightness, to set what kind of color it was going to be. So we said make an OF color object, give it a name. And then we can use the set HSB command or just set in RGB and make color out of these two different ways. Red component, green component, blue component, or the hue, which goes uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet across the spectrum between 0 and 255. Then the saturation between very low saturation at zero up to 255, and then the brightness. And that allows us to set uh, complementary colors in a bunch of different ways, which we saw some simple examples of. And then I use the OF set color, which sets the drawing color, and then I can draw an object. So we draw our object, we set our background color using OF background, and we made a red circle, which is cool. Now, one of the things that we can also do when we make color is set transparency. So at the end of an RGB value, I can put an alpha value, a blend value. And at the same, uh, with an HSB value, I can set a blend value at the end. Now, uh, Open Frameworks does a bunch of different things with blending. We may need to switch alpha blending on, but what I've done here is said, make me a color. So 255 hue, so it's red, 255 uh, saturation, 255 brightness, and then 50 for blend. So it's only going to blend 50 out of the 0 to 255. So it's about a fifth blended. So it's semi-transparent. And we see that it's coming out pink. But what we could do to prove this, you make a loop and draw lots and lots and lots and lots of circles all over the place. So I'm going to set my color. But in my draw routine, I'm going to say, uh, let's make a loop. So I'm going to use a for loop, and I'm going to start with um, integer i, i equals zero. So start from zero, and then I think we'll draw 100 circles. So we'll go keep looping while i is less than 100, and then each time we'll go i plus plus. So i plus equals one. And then we'll draw a hundred circles as we run through this loop a hundred times. But at the moment, it's going to draw the circles at exactly the same place. Now, we can see what happens if, say, I draw at the x value of i. So it'll draw at one, 0, 1, and 2, and 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way across, and draw me a hundred circles in a line. They're probably going to end up touching, so it'll look like a big stripe overlapping. So let's have a look at what we get. So there we go. We've got this big stripe overlapping. And interestingly, it's looking a little faded at the edge. So I think that's because we can see our transparency. So if I say i times 3, it's going to draw three steps apart, three pixels apart. So it'll take the i value that's running between 0 and 100 inside our loop, and then draw them of this x position, 0, 3, 6, 9, etc., up to 300. And there we, we see our big stripe overlapping. That's kind of interesting, but I want to make it a little bit funkier. So instead of saying I want my X location to be incremental, I'm just going to make it random. So I can use the OF random. And random can give us a random value between one value and another, or it's between naught and a value that we say. In this instance, what I want to do is find out how wide the screen is and just randomly find a value that's the width of the screen and draw there. So I'm going to say OF get width. We saw last time, grab the width of the screen. And I'm going to do the same with the Y value vertically. OF get height. That needs to be inside a 
an OF random. So what I've got is actually one command inside another. So I'm first of all saying, get the width of the screen and pass that to the random function and make a random number between naught and whatever get the width of the screen says and draw me a circle there. So it's going to keep doing this 100 times, draw me 100 circles, and then in the next frame it's going to draw me 100 circles again in random places, all with this red um, color with a 50% blend value on it. So let's see what we get. And that's kind of cool. And because I set the open frameworks full screen, I can hit full screen and there, I got my crazy graphics, which is kind of cool. And I should do an intro like that. Um, in fact, I'm going to cut that out right now and do the intro and say, okay, in this time we're playing with color and we're doing crazy stuff in open frameworks, super basics. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to stop that now. So we can see we can make colors and we can give them blend values. What I could do actually is say, um, every time we run this, I want to randomize the hue. So it'll choose a random hue for each frame. This is probably going to look a little crazy. And then I want it to blend as well. And it'll draw me 100 circles in that hue. And the next frame, it'll choose a different hue. So it's going to be a bit wild. Compile that and run it. And that's a little stroboscopic. But I could slow it down if I wanted. One of the cool things about drawing, if I stop this, with Open Frameworks, I can set how fast I want it to run. So in my setup, I can say OF. frame rate and set the frame rate. It'll try and run as fast as it can up to 60 frames a second. But if I want to make it run slower, I can do. So I could say my target frame rate is actually 15 frames per second using this OF set frame rate. So the draw loop will run 15 times a second. So we won't see so much craziness, but it's still going to be pretty odd. So we run it again compiles. And so we see every 15th of a second is changing the hue and drawing 100 circles randomly blended against each other, which is kind of cool and slightly stroboscopic. I should put a warning about that. Uh, but I can do this crazy stuff with colors and I can make colors in different ways. And what's cool is we see that we're choosing them by hue, which is kind of complicated to do if we were doing RGB, but they're all the same saturation and the same brightness. And if I wanted to mute this, stop that and say, actually, I don't want them all so bright. I want them saturated, but maybe only uh, instead of, here we go, we're making a random hue, so a random color, but fully saturated and very bright. I'm going to make it actually kind of dark, but they'll all be random color, but fully saturated but dark. So you can see I've got quite a different characteristic. And I could say, actually, I want them very bright, but not very saturated, maybe only 100 saturated. So in my HSB, we've got our random color, medium saturation, very bright, and our 50 blend value at the end. So compile this and hopefully craziness ensues. And you can see because we've reduced the saturation, everything's a little paler, a little pastel, not quite so strong. And also we have the blend value as well. So that's all kind of cool and we can do funky stuff with that. But what I'd like to do is show you a thing um, that we can do if we want to draw all over the place. So we've made one random loop here and I'm going to get rid of my random loop. And in this instance, what I want to do is draw all the way across the screen and all the way down. So I'm going to make one loop inside another. The first loop, I'm going to say a for loop for integer x equals zero. So we start at zero. And then I'm going to say, keep going while x is less than of get width. 
So I'm just gonna say, find out, when you start to run this loop, find out the width of the screen and keep looping, incrementing X until you've got to the, the width of the screen. And then I'm gonna say, X plus equals 20. So it's gonna do the loop, X is zero, then X is 20, then X is 40. So it's going to, rather than incrementing by one, it's gonna increment by 20. So it'll hopefully give me a position X, uh, zero pixels, 20 pixels, 40 pixels, etc., all the way up to the width of the screen. And then I want to put it in a loop. And then I'm going to say, draw my circle, not at this random position, but at the X position. And if I have a look at that, I'm just say, let's draw it at the X position that we're counting incrementally and draw it 20 pixels down and 100 in size, we should see circles all the way across. And I'm going to get rid of this random and just draw it 255 in uh, saturation color. So it should be a uniform color, drawing a circle every 20 pixels across the width of the screen. And yeah, there we have it. You can see the circles are overlapping a little bit. So I'm going to make the circles a bit smaller so we can see that more clearly. So when I draw the circle, I want it at the X position, a bit smaller, 20 pixels. 20 pixels is the radius, so it'll be 40 pixels wide, the radius. And there I can see at the top, I've got my circles all the way across the screen. And what I want to do now is put a second loop, but I'm going to do it outside the X so that it counts down in the Y position. So I say, first of all, draw across the top of the screen and then step down a little bit, draw across, step down a little, draw across. So the Y loop for the Y vertical position will be outside the X loop. So I'll say four int Y equals zero. I'm gonna do very similar thing here. While Y is less than OF get height, and then I'm going to say um, y plus equals 20. So y equals y plus 20 again. Then I make my loop, and then I have my x loop inside it. Let's tidy this up. So I indent and I can see exactly what's going on. And now I say of, draw me a circle at x and a y. I'm just going to get rid of this blend value on the end of where I'm setting draw my HSB color. Let's run it. Now we should see it draw across, step down, draw across, draw across, and just draw us a big grid. Yeah, well, we have a big grid of circles. They're all touching each other. Rookie error. I'm going to make the circles smaller. So they're now 10 pixels radius, 20 pixels diameter. And there we can see, flip full screen and back, maybe doing weird things to your eyes. I can draw circles. And if I've got my window windowed, as I drag it, you'll see it'll detect the new screen width and redraw it. So that's kind of cool. What I want to do is I want to draw out all the HSB colors. So I'm going to use these values that we're generating of X and Y to set my color. So I'm going to say inside my loop, my draw color, set HSB, and then I'm going to calculate it here, what it should be. Then I'm going to set the drawing color, draw and circle, and then we'll move to a new position choose a new color, draw a circle all the way across and all the way down. So what I want to do is draw, I'm going to set this to 255 of uh, saturation. I want to change the hue as I go across and the saturation as I go down, I think, draw a big kind of color array. So I'll say that the hue is going to change as we go across with the X value and the saturation, the second part of the color, is gonna change as we go down with the Y. I'm just gonna chuck them in and we'll get whatever values we get. 
So as we go across and down, it'll change the color each step and change the color. And bingo, look what we got. So we can see the color is changing, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, etc. blah, blah, blah. And then the saturation going down from right at the top, very uh, little saturation, which is why it looks white, because we're on a white background, all the way down to heavy saturation. But the mapping is all wrong, because the screen is like a thousand pixels wide, but the value for the hue goes only from 0 to 255. So what I'd like to do is kind of map that out to say, oh, well, you know, if the X position is a thousand, turn that into 255, because that's the maximum that we can have. And there's an awesome function that we can use in Open Frameworks, that's part of C++, which is called the map function. And I'm going to do a quick drawing because OF map, which is a map function, is a really, really neat thing to be able to do. So, over the drawing camera. So the OF map function is really cool. It allows us to take a value in, tell the function what value that could be range-wise, and then tell it what we would like to turn it into. So in our instance, we're going to take the x value and the x value in our case is going to run between zero and the full screen width so it's going to run from uh, input input minimum input maximum so it's going to run from zero and we can get a value up to the width of the screen so this is the screen width, and then we say, okay, between this and this, what does it need to map to? And what we want it to give us out is somewhere between naught, so this is our output min, output max, so we want it to give us somewhere between naught and 255, and then we feed that into Q. So, we get our input from whatever variable it is. We say what the range is that that variable could be. So we get x in, we say it's going to go from naught to the width of the screen, and then we say we want to convert that from naught to 255. And that is how the map works, and it's super, super cool for getting useful numbers out without having to do a load of calculation and counting. So, in my set hue, I go back to, cool, I go back to my code, I'm going to expand this a little bit. Inside my loop, we loop the X and the Y. And I want to set my color for the hue, saturation and brightness. I want to set the hue using OF map. And you can see it expects a float value to come in, an input minimum, an input maximum, an output minimum, and an output maximum. So we know our input is going to be x. And the input minimum is going to be 0. And the output, sorry, the input maximum is going to be of get width, whatever the width of the screen is right now. And we want it to give us between naught and the maximum that hue can be, which is 255. So this little bit is our map function, and that's going to do that counting and just give us our hue value. So if you run that now, we'll still have the vertical being a bit hooky, but compile this and run it, and it should give us a nice scaling of however wide the screen is to give us our range of hue all the way across, just like that. So it'll go red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And it'll recalculate that however big the screen is, which is really, really cool. Now, what I want to do is do exactly the same for the vertical. So using my F, which I've got the OF toggle full screen, which is really cool. I'm just going to go and copy and paste that exact same bit here where we're using the OF map function, which is like the coolest thing ever until the next coolest thing. 
paste it in place of the y and then go actually we're going to give it the y value and instead of of get width as our maximum it's of get height as our maximum and we still want it to give us 0 to 255 out and all being well look at that that's really cool so run that full screen and you can see right up in the up uh, over there uh, over there right up in the top top corner it's zero hue and zero saturation and then as it goes down the saturation gets stronger so the bottom line across the bottom of the screen is fully saturated and the top line is no saturation at all and then it runs a hue all the way down so it calculates that automatically and I can choose anything that I want out of this so the first thing that I'm going to do is instead of OF draw circle I want to say OF draw rectangle and because it's a rectangle I need to give it an X and a Y position to draw at and a width and a height so I draw that now and instead of the circles we'll see rectangles with our colors all the way across there we go that's super cool I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so I'm gonna draw them 20 by 20 and there run that full screen I've got my crazy color drawing just counting across counting across counting across down, counting down running through all the HSB colors that I can possibly have and if I wanted maybe I'll do that right now I can change the brightness because we're monitoring the hue and the saturation by the x and the y and let's change the brightness as well so we can see all the range of colors that we can make and what i want to do where i'm making my color here my draw color set hsb we use one map function for the hue one map function for the saturation and at the moment the brightness is 255 and I'm going to use map again but in this instance I'm going to map it to the position of the mouse dragging up and down so I'm going to say OF map with a capital and then I'm going to provide it with the OF get mouse y for vertical and that can be a minimum of zero and of course the maximum can be of get height and then i want to transform it from naught to 255 for the brightness so depending upon as i move up and down it'll give us different brightnesses and i think that should all be good. Let's see if that compiles. And if it does compile, it'll run. And I think we're about there for this video. Nope, it's giving me a bug. Let's see what it says. It's expecting an extra bracket. So I've missed out a bracket somewhere. So here's my first map. There. That's it on my second map function just here. I forgot to add the extra bracket at the end. So we're saying OF map, get the mouse position. That's going to run from naught to the height, and we want to transform it from naught to 255. So compile that, run it, and hopefully we've got something a little funky, vaguely interactive. And as I move my mouse up and down, you can see all these different hues. So if I run it as a background, I drag the mouse to the bottom, it gives me maximum brightness, drag it to the top, and you can see all the range of different possible colors that we can build out of HSB. So, thank you very much. We're going to be doing a whole load more stuff with color. I want to look at some color experiments and randomization. Um, but these are the basics. We can set RGB, we can set HSB, we can give it an alpha channel, and we can start making loops and drawing all kinds of different shapes and frames and sizes all the way across the screen. So, if you're interested, please leave me comments, subscribe, 
uh, and I will see you on the next video when we'll be looking at more drawing stuff and starting to do some generative interactive things with color, with drawing, and looking at lines. Thanks very much.